Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create collage animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first one, select these all of them layers and click this icon for turn on 3D layers. So first one, select these all of them layers and hide for now and create new solid layer for background and choose color black add name background click ok and move to behind of layers go to fs presses search effect fill select fill use for background and go to color cube choose here black color click ok and let's ctrl d for duplicate background layer delete fill and go to fs presses search effect grid select grid use for background layer and change name grid so let's go to size form choose here with slider and change slider like this and opacity okay not bad let's change this six and lock layers so select this layer helicopter and rotate and select this rotate let's link to helicopter and select rotate let's zoom in here for better rotate animation go to anchor point and move the anchor point here center okay so in this time let's create new null object and change name controller and select controller let's move to here and hold control double click pen behind icon for move the anchor point center click tool and let's move like this select this helicopter link to controller select controller let's see okay and in this time let's press r chain rotation like this and create rotation keyframe and go to three keyframes and change rotation like this and move right so let's unlock background layer and change color like this click ok and lock layer and in this time let's go to text and right here text master the sky click tool and change font size and let's double click for edit and change spacing like this okay and select this sky text change size select this sky go to color change to red and this text let's keep the white color so let's enable for turn on 3d layer also select controller turn off 3d layer let's see so in this time let's go to window and open animation compass 3 if you have not animation compass 3 i will add link on description below you can use and let's open starter presets and text layers let's open animate character and choose here overshot scale animation you can see previews here Let's change sizes and I'm gonna use this text tab animation select text layer and let's use in and close window let's see okay not bad let's change quality for now quarter okay and select this rotate layer press R and go to first second let's create Z rotation and go to let's go to 10 seconds change this 25 let's see okay we have problem with anchor point and let's select this rotate let's click this icon for turn of thread layer and let's go to anchor point move to center this anchor point let's see okay let's move to here And let's move it down a little bit like this. Let's preview again. Nice. And again, let's select this rotate layer and click this icon for turn on 3D layer. Okay, it works. And let's click this icon for motion blur. And also here. Very nice. I like it. And let's unsolo this both layers. 
Okay, nice. And back to quarter quality and let's turn off motion blur effect for now. And let's go to FS presets, source effect black and white. Select black and white, use for rotate. And let's use black and white, also helicopter layer. And go to FS presets, source FX curve. Select these curves, let's use for helicopter layer. And let's select these curves, let's copy and rotate Ctrl V. Nice. So let's create new camera, right mouse, new end camera. And don't change any settings, I will use presets 50 millimeters. Click OK. And for control camera movements, select camera 1, right mouse, go to camera and create orbit null. And for move to anchor point center, again, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Clusation tool, select camera, press P, and let's see timing. Okay, and let's create new passing Q frame, go to 3 seconds, and move to the left this camera. And select Q frames, make it easy, go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Back to two frames, select first two frame, move to left. Select two two frames, move to right a little bit. Okay, so in this time, let's select this layer grid and unlock. And go to FS Presses, search effect reptile and select CC reptile, use for grid layer. And in this time, let's see camera two frames, select camera, press U for see active two frames. And right now, let's select this grid, let's press P, create new passing two frame, go to here and move to the left. And let's change expand right. Let's see. Nice. And select two frames, make it easy, preview again. And go to graph editor, let's make it smooth graphs. Okay, very nice. And in this time, select this controller for helicopter and press P, hold she press R. Right now, let's create new pass in two frame and go to here. Let's move to right like this. And let's see. Select these two frames, make it easy. And in this time, select this helicopter. Let's right mouse, go to here and choose flip horizontal. And let's select rotation two frames and delete. Let's change rotation like this. For now, let's create rotation two frames. And go to here, let's create new rotation two frame, go to back and chain rotation like this and move to up. Okay, not bad. And select rotation two frames, make it easy. And right now we can chain rotation like this and here chain rotation like this for randomly animation. So in this time, let's select this bridge and house. Select this house, let's link to bridge, select this bridge and move to right. Okay, let's see. And let's select this bridge layer, go to rectangle mask tool and let's create one mask like this and click inverted checkbox and open max one change feather for smooth line like this let's see okay that's good and right now let's go to project and select these layer clouds select these seven clouds drag and drop into conversation and click for three the layers and Move to right, press S, change scale, and let's select this layer 2, move to the left, 
and layer 3, move to here, layer 4, move to right, and layer 5, move to here, and layer 6, move to like this, and 7, move to down. Or let's change scale and move to left. So select this cloud layer, this is cloud 2, and move to right. Okay, not bad. Let's say again. Let's search effect black and white. Select black and white, use for bridge layer. And select this house layer. And let's see. In this time, let's press S and create new scale Q frame. Hold shift, press P, create new person Q frame. And go to here, let's change scale. And move to like this, make it cube frames easy. Let's choose work area. Let's select last cube frame, move to right, and change work area like this. Okay, and hold shift press R. Let's create Z rotation. And go to here and change rotation like this. And make it also easy. And in this time, let's select this bridge, go to layer, new and adjustment layer and change name blur. Go to FS presses, search effect Gaussian blur, select Gaussian blur, use for blur adjustment layer. And let's go to back. In this time, create blurness keyframe and go to here, change blurness like this. Okay, and select these layer clouds and move to behind of blur layers. Okay, and select these text layer, control D, move to right and let's move to here. Let's see again. Okay, that's good. And select this house layer, let's right mouse and go to layer style and stroke. And go to back, change open stroke settings, change stroke opacity 0, create opacity hue frame and go to last hue frame here, change 100 and change opacity color white and size see nice so in this time select this camera control and go to here and let's zoom and let's change the axis to zoom text let's see okay select last few frame move to right and work area like this go to graph editor and let's choose last few frame for more smoothly. Nice. And let's select work area for full animation timing. Finally, I will use dust and screen. Select these buff video footages and click import. And select these dust. Let's drag and drop into the conversation and and turn off audio, let's change size with fit to comp and click toggle switch mode, choose here mod add. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And select this screen and drag and drop into conversation and turn off audio. Let's right mouse again, go to fit to comp and choose add. Nice. And finally, let's select all of them layers and click this icon for turn on motion blur. And let's preview animation. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.